Good morning everyone. So now today we will be continuing an important topic of bites that is human bite, animal bite and what are the bacteria they contain in their teeth and the nail that will cause us the disease. We know that when we have a bite by human then there are the bacteria in your mouth, in your teeth that will transmit it and it may cause the localized wound infection as well as cellulitis and even sepsis. Similar Similar things apply to the dog and cat as well. So if a dog bites, you are thinking of rabies only, but there are certain bacterial infection that cause your localized wound infection and then they will progress further to the lymph node and sepsis and finally death. Just due to the bacteria that may you ignore. So we need to be clear about some of the bacteria that are found there by the bites of a different organism like bite of human bite, bite of dog, bite of cat and even when they scratch by the human or say by cat or dogs. These are the very important thing that occurs in, in normally day life that may be neglected. So let's come to the point. We are, here are the some uh, organisms that are responsible with the animal and human bite. So this is from the Kaplan book. You can see this Echinella corodens. First, let's talk about the human bite. If there is a human bite, from the human bite, the bacteria can be transmitted locally is known as the Echinella corodens. This will, these are the gram-negative corrodes agar. This is the uh, gram-negative bug, gram-negative bacteria. They are having the bleach-like order and they are normally present on the human or oropharynx, human bite or first feet fight injuries. Okay, they leave, lead to the cellulitis and the treatment will require the third generation cephalosporin or say fluoroquinol. To explain this uh, human bite or first feet injury, let me show you some of the images to you understand. You can see over here, this is the bite by a human to you. When you, when you are fighting, they may bite on your hand. So, or they can bite you any place of your body. In that case, they will, you will have the bacteria inoculated over there. And there will be the local skin infection, but they can be canola corrodens as well. And they can cause you the cellulitis, even sepsis that you have to understand. Another is this fist bite, the first fist. When you punch a, a person, then you might have, you will break the nose or say you can break the teeth or there will be injury in the mouth. But the same can put impression on your hand as well there will be injury of your hand as well and that portion when you are fist when you are beating when you are hitting with the fist then you will have also injury although also the person you are hitting the he or she will also going to have injury mainly he then you can have the organi organism inoculated in your fist and this is this is why it is called the actually this first fist fight injuries so that that is that is the one of the way of transmission of this echinola corrodens so we have understood this will lead to the cellulitis and if you are not treated with the antibiotic then they may even progress to sepsis and that is important. So from the human bite, echinal corrodens, then come back to the dog bite. So when we know that when we get a dog bite we are afraid of rabies. We think okay we will get rabies and rabies is 100% fatal disease and obviously if you get that, that virus you are going to die if you are not getting vaccination post-exposure prophylaxis or you, if you have not any pre-exposure prophylaxis. So you need to get vaccinated to the people for virus. On what happened in a normal life, the people that are so afraid of the rabies, the, the doctor even, the practitioner also, they only concentrate towards the virus. They never concentrate on the bacteria that was transmitted during the dog bite. And the bacteria name is Cathnocytophaga canimorsus. So this is the, this bacteria name looks like something difficult, but it is a Capnocytophaga canimorsus that is uh, um, very rarely heard about this organism, but they are gram-negative organism, they are filamentous rods, they are present in your dog, oropharynx and dog, they, when dog bite, they produce the wound and in that wound, this organism you can see and they will develop this cellulitis. Even in splenectomic patient, there will be overwhelming sepsis and patient will die. So if, the, if by chance that is a splenectomic patient having a splenia or there is, by any means the splen has been removed, then they will de develop this overwhelming sepsis and patient will die if you are not treating with the third generation cephalosporin or fluoroquinolones. Normally they are resistant to amino glycoside. So 
we have came to know about let me show some of the images so if we understand this you can see this is the cephalocytophaga car canimorsus as a cause of the fatal sepsis in a, spl a splenic patient or a splenic tumor patient and they, the disease has been spread the dog there was a dog bite and that has been spread all over the body and patient has gone into the sepsis this is the Capnophyta canimorsus is a gram negative capnophilic route consists of normal bacteria of the oral cavity of dogs and cat. So while dog bite, you, do, you should not only concentrate on the rabies, although we need to concentrate on the rabies, but beside that, there is another organism that can be transmitted, even lead to cellulitis and sepsis, overwhelming sepsis, and patient may die if you are not putting in that bacteria into the concentration. So you need to treat this capnophyta cytophaga car canimorsus as well when you are suspecting the patient has severe dog bite okay so we have done with the animal bite animal bite echinocorodons that will also lead to the uh, sepsis we need third generation cephalosporin fluoroquinols capnocytophaga carcimersus this is dog bite this is also can be treated with the same third generation cephalosporin fluoroquinol there is a, another a th disease that can be transmitted by the now cat bite normally we know this is the Pasturella multicida, multiocida. So this organism is particularly, they are transmitters and animal bite, particularly from the cat bites. These are the small gram negative rod, facultative anaerobic. They absorb our mouth of many animals, especially cat and dogs. The pathogenesis are, they have endotoxin, they are gram negative, endotoxin capsule is spread rapidly within the skin, but no exotoxin is known. So when they bite you, when this bacteria enter inside you, they, they rapidly spread inside the skin, they are capsulated and they have an endotoxic role as well. The disease develops is cellulitis with lymphadenitis, rapidly spreading wound infection, frequently polymicrobial infection. So there will be a concomitant bacterial infection, so leads to a polymicrobial infection. Diagnosis really cultured because of routine prophylaxis is common. And if you are missing that routine prophylaxis, your patient will be suffering from the cellulitis or say they can develop lymphadenitis as well. So you know human bite, they need to be treated with the cephalosporin and uh, chloroquinols, they will lead to cellulitis, even dog bite. Beside rabies, they can lead to the cell cellulitis and overwhelming sepsis. And talking about this cat bite, the cat bite also will lead to the cellulitis, the beta cause of the bacteria, Pasturella multishoda. And we, if we are not going to treat this, again, there will be the cellulitis and with lymphadenitis. So these were related to the bite. This were three organism. I'm coming again, the three organism, that is human bite, Echinella corrodens, cellulitis, dog bite, Caphnocytophagus, Canimorsus, that is also lead to the cellulitis and overwhelming sepsis in a splenic patient. This is related to dog bite. If you are talking about cat bite, the cat bite will cause this pasturella, multishoda bacteria, and that will lead to again cellulitis with the lymphadenitis. This was related with the bites of the animal, dog, cat. Now let's talk about this scratch, scratch by the human or say cat or dog. There are in United States of America and now a lot of, um, lot of, in the lot of portion of the world or part of the world we found they are found of this uh, uh, raising this um, household pets like cat, dogs and this may sometime when playing they can scratch you and while scratching not they, need, they don't need to bite you, even by scratching they will transmit one of the disease called one of the bacteria called Bartonella hensley and this Bartonella hensley are gram negative rods they are present in the cat and dogs bite scratches even transmitted by the fleas they cause cat scratch disease and in a hemochromatized patient cause bacillary angiomatosis bacillary angiomatosis is like a posi sarcoma you can say this is the skin uh, lesion that is a severe form and then in the immunocompromised patient you can see this bacillary angiomatosis the treatment is azithromycin or say doxycycline while the treatment of this pasturella was giving amoxiclab amoxicillin and calvinic acid is standard prophylaxis for a cat bite when we talk about this scratch we need to give azithromycin or doxycycline the disease will develop cat scratch disease in the immunocompromised patient they will develop bacillary angiomatosis let me show you some of the images to me to understand it so we are talking about this bacillary angiomatosis. These are the epithelioid angiomatosis. Is an uncommon, uncommon disease characterized by new vascular proliferation in the skin or the internal organ due to an infection with Bartonella hensley or Bartonella quinitana. It commonly occurs in the immunocompromised as well as immunocompetent host. 
you can see over this these are the lesion skin lesion this is the bacillary angiomatosis bacillary angiomatosis and what is bacillary angiomatosis it is the angioproliferative disease caused by bartonella hensley or bartonella quinitana this was first described in 1983 risk factor are immunocompromised patient organ transplant who are receiving the immunosuppressive drug patient on immunotherapy drug steroid therapy patient with leukemia and lymphoma cancer they will develop this disease severe form proliferation of a small blood vessel ligate this is the dense aggregate of the bacilli in the warthin steri state and this will leads to this lot of complication that is the bacillary angiomatosis the cats are the host of battery this bartonella hensley bartonella bacilli are transmitted to man by flea bite so they are the reservoir the host are cat they are transported from feed this flea bite and then they again bite these homeless people homeless men are the host of bartonella quinitana transmitted through the bites of the lice and they will develop the skin most common bones lymph node visceral organ spleen liver brain gastrointestinal respiratory tract disease and this all will be infected and they will develop this bacillary angiomatosis okay so cat scratch disease this is the cat scratch disease is a, a bacterial infection spread by the cat the disease spread when infected cat leaks a person open wound or bite or scratch a person hard enough to break the surface of the skin so there is if there is a breach in the skin by this bacteria then if they scratch you then you can see there the here is the, this cat is scratching and if there is a breach in the skin then this cat scratch disease will develop let me show you some of the picture this you can see this cat scratch they have been developed and cat scratch disease or cat scratch fever is by this bartonella hensley this you can see this cat or teeth or claws they have this bacteria when they scratches you they can lead you to the cat scratch disease and in a severe form that is the bacillary angiomatosis we have talked about this pastorella pastorella is also a disease that was bite by the cat and cat leads to this pastorella multisoda infection you can see these are the gram negative bacilli that are the genotic diseases let me concise it one once again we are talking about the bite and scratch diseases human bite a canella corrodens that is causing cellulitis treatment thorogenesis of allosporin or fluoroquinolone dog bite cephalocytophaga canimorsus you need to treat it because they will develop cellulitis in splenectomy or splenic patient they will develop over overwhelming sepsis treatment is again thorogenesis of allosporin and fluoroquinolone aminoglycoside cannot work but then coming about the this pastorella this was due to the cat bite and cat bite this again leads to cellulitis and lymph neuropathy treatment is amoxicillin plus cl clavulinate that's clavulinic acid they are resistant to macrolides now talking about the bartonella so you should not be confused if it is a bite you cannot give this doxycycline or azithromycin because doxycycline or azithromycin will not work on this pastorella so if it is a bite you have to give amoxiclav if it is to the scratch and you are thinking of bartonella then you have to give this macrolides that is azithromycin and doxycycline so what is the, the taking the patient history and what is the situation if it is just to the scratch the bacteria is bartonella hensley you have to give azithromycin or doxycycline if you are talking about the pastorella cat bite then in that situation you are need to give amoxicillin plus clavulinic acid that is a different scenario and we, so we have came to know that may be a human bite that may be a dog bite that may be a cat bite they will transmit the bacteria that may be a scratch from your body cat or dog that will also transmit your bacteria and you need to treat them if there is a breach in skin thank you